hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to guide you through how to get what a topo plan a topographic plan right good so this is actually data from a topographic survey um spot tightening was done we have what our eastern northern and the height values and then we also have we also have the boundary data, which is this, right? Good. So we want to use all of these data we have to follow through this guide, right? Good. So we are going to plot the boundary. We are going to plot contours. We are going to plot spot heights. Then we are going to overlay them. Then we get what um, 3D maps. And then we are going to show you or maybe refer you on how to get what your plan updates. Now, the essence of doing this video is that at some point, some people miss it at maybe the contours. You know, they ask, okay, how do they now move the contours and the spot heights to um, the boundary and then get what their their plans, right? So that's what we are going to show you on today's video. So the first thing is that let's get to AutoCAD. So by default, when you get to AutoCAD, you need to set what your work environment, which is actually what we are doing right now, right? Good. So we do that. We also take that to meters, the direction. We have it as not okay and then okay. So our uh, AutoCAD work environment is ready. And then let's pick what a tool. We are going to use what the polyline tool, right? Good. Then it's now asking us to specify a start point. So we are going to copy the boundary data we have here so let's um, highlight everything and then we copy them then we come down here to paste remember there are different ways you can plot what your coordinates you can either run them as a script or you do what you um you copy and then you paste but since we did not um repeat the first coordinate we are going to do that just now good so we've actually repeated the first coordinate now let's um copy that let's delete this then we are going to replot our point right good so let's um, paste that there and then we have what we have our boundary there right good so this is the first thing and it has been achieved the next thing is for us to get what the contours right good so we are going to use that and we are going to use them um, so far for this particular tax right good so we are using so far 20 the first thing is that we need what the grid data so we click on grid data then we have to browse through our pc to now get our data good so we've navigated to the folder where we have our data and then the name of the, fo the file is what um sh ss right good and then we open it up now we can see what the field selection the x is um column a y is column b and then the z is column c by the description we have seen that our column a is not supposed to be x but it's supposed to be column b so let's be our data so you see that b is east in c is northern and then d is what height right good so we are going to effect that um accordingly so b is east in c m um, is what the northern and then the z is what the height which is what d right good so having done that we can decide to click on what finish because um you can see we have about um, 1160 points now the the grading method we are using is what kriegen right good so there is a brief description of what um, the kriegen method is so let's just what um finish it up good so the grid file has been created we just click on ok and then we can see by default that what a contour map has been plotted we can decide to see what the the grid report let's just leave it there then we can just close it out right good so we have actually plotted what our contour the next thing is for us now export this contour to AutoCAD and then overlay it on our what on our base map, right? Good or let's say on the um, on the boundary. Now, can we do a little bit of modifications before we move it? So let's see. So the contour interval here is um, 0 0.5. Let's see if we can reduce it to 0 0.2 good so we have quite some contours now then we can still fill this and then maybe change what the 
the color ramp let's say we are using what rainbow so we can see different colors right good so we have something like this basically you can leave it as what on field because um, that's how most times you have your contours but if you want to add a little bit of a modification to it you can also just keep it this way right good so then um, the label font we can decide to include what a suffix of meters right good after each of what are elevations or let's say yeah after each of the contour values so we know that we are dealing with what um units that are in meters right good so these are just a few modifications you can do now i haven't done all of this you we can just decide to come down to file and then export right good you can see the export icon yeah you can use it directly from there or you come down to file and then you export good so we are working on a folder called them um, topo so let's call this um contours right good let's call this contours and then we see that um, the savers type you can just use the drop down to select what autocad dxf if it's not on autocad dxf right then we click on save we follow this um, export option prompt by default let's just leave it the way it is okay and then we can see it's been exported and it has been exported so what we are going to do next is to access the file on our folder and then open it on autocad right good so we have what our contour map on autocad with the different fillings that we have actually indicated from so far right good the next thing is for us to now overlay the boundary on this particular contour map remember i told you it's actually your preference to leave what the contours field so this is the boundary we can just copy it ctrl c then we come down to the second window that contains the contour we right click and then we want paste to original coordinates right good so for us to have a um, better legibility we can decide to change this to red or something if we want to and then leave it the way it is but for the purpose of the presentation we are going to use these contours without filling them right good so let's um, have it this way then since we have actually copied our boundary we can easily paste it on this then we can decide to change this to red for purpose of distinction then we can now do a little bit of trimming now we can just use them um, the shortcut of trim that's tr enter then we select this object enter then we decide to select every other object that is what that is outside what the boundary good so having done that we can decide to now um, plot what our spot height now for the spot height we are still using what the same um, the same spreadsheet we have for us to get our spot height we use this simple um, script underscore text eastern northern the text height the rotation angle and what the height right good so we can just um, copy all of these maybe highlight them like this then um, copy them towards to notepad which is somewhere around there right good then paste it here and then do a little bit of what editing by copying this and then replacing it with um, underscore test speech right good so we have done them um, we have a detailed video on how to do that however we have the result good so this is the result remember we said um, the the script is what underscore test space eastern comma northern space the text height space the rotation angle space what the elevation values which are what the heights right good so by the time you are done formatting it the way we have said earlier you should be able to what, arrive at this right good so now we are going to run this what as a script file on autocad so that we are going to have what the elevation values plotted on what on these um, coordinates or let's say on this point as what as a text so um, on autocad we just type scr or we can decide to come down to tools and then we go to run script good so we have it somewhere there as what spot height we can just um, open that up 
Now it is being plotted. Good. So our spot title has been plotted. Remember the the fonts and the text are a bit overlapping. So you can do a little bit of modification. So you come down to format, you go to text style. Let's say we want to use a um, Times New Roman somewhere there. And then let's say for the text height, we want to use, let's say 1.5. We are trying to modify what we have there. Let's apply that and see. So we have something like this. You can still decide to reduce it if it is still too bold. So let's say, let's make this um, 0 0.5. And then um, if you have any other modifications you want to make, maybe if you want to make it bold or something, you can. But let's leave it at um, regular. Let's um, apply this and then we close. So basically, this is how you plot your boundary you plot your spot heights and you overlay it remember that this is just a guide to show you how you can what how you can go about it and you need to get um, a format on how your maybe your topo plan will look like and then you know the annotations definitely there will be buildings you know and then um, contour lines don't um, pass them um, over buildings or whatever the case is so those um, parts will be maybe trimmed out maybe there will be roads and you know there will be labels for the 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 buildings and other stuff but the idea is that we try to show you how to move from what from um sofa to card how to plot towards the spot height and then the boundary as well now before we leave let's look at some 3d representation of what we have so let's come down to 3d surfaces then um, let's use what 3d surface we are still using this so this is the configuration of what of that um, terrain in 3d so in your report you can decide to also add what let's um, show base in your report you can decide to also add this what 3d representation of what this contour so that um, the the lecturer or whoever is in charge can see that yes you've actually done quite um, an exhaustive work using what your XYZ data. Good, from the guide, we've shown you how to get your boundary, the contour, the spot height. Then we've also shown you how to overlay them. Then we've also shown you what the 3D maps. Now, the, for the map updates, we have a link on the description section of this video where we've shown you how to plot what is survey plan. So you can follow the instruction or maybe the guide that um, we have exhaustively given to you on that video to get what a very good plan for this particular um rough yeah we actually call it a rough a rough what um topo map or let's say topo plan right but so remember you can always work on what the the fonts of what your text you can always work on what the placement and then some other stuff and another thing is that most of these plans are prepared separately in that when you have what your spot height, you prepare your spot height plan separately, you prepare your contour plan separately, and then you now overlay them on each other, depending on the instruction given to you, right? Good. So, thanks for coming to class. We hope um, we've provided solution to this particular solving problem. We are going to see you on our next video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.